This administration saw 500,000 manufacturing jobs yes. created. And that's exactly the kind of growth we're going to continue to see as we bring our nation through thank you, this President pandemic. Yes. The Green New thank Deal, you, your Vice massive President new Pence. mandates, your Paris Climate Accord, it's going to kill jobs this time, just like it killed I'm, jobs. I'm, I'm, I, I just need to respond very briefly. Uh, 15 please. seconds and thank then you. we'll move Thank on. you. Joe Biden is responsible for saving America's auto industry, and you voted against it. So let's set the record straight. Thank you. Yeah. I'd like to talk about China. How would you describe our, our fundamental relationship with China? Competitors, adversaries, enemies? You have two minutes. Thank you, Susan. Well, let me, before I leave that, let me, let me speak to voting records if I can. You know, everybody knows that NAFTA cost literally thousands of American factories to close. We saw automotive jobs go south of the border. President Trump fought to renegotiate NAFTA. And the United States, Mexico, Canada agreement is now the law of the land. American people deserve to know Senator Kamala Harris was one of only 10 members of the Senate to vote against the USMCA. It was a huge win for American auto workers. It was a huge win for American farmers, especially dairy in the upper Midwest. But Senator, you, you said it didn't go far enough on climate change, mm -hmm. that, that you put your, your radical environmental agenda ahead of American auto workers and ahead of American jobs. I think the American people deserve to know that is probably why Newsweek magazine said that, that Kamala Harris was the most liberal member of the United States Senate in 2019, more liberal than Bernie Sanders, uh, more, more liberal than any of the others in the United States Senate. So now with regard to China, look, Susan, first and foremost, China is to blame for the coronavirus. 